Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday. My name is Miss Mary, and it is time for live story time. I am just going to wait a couple of minutes before I get started. Um, I am in another new location today. I am still in the library, but I am in a meeting room. And I have a cool new sign behind me that says, Welcome to Miss Mary Storytime. So I thought that was fun. Um, one of our wonderful pages, Olivia, made that for me. And um, next week it should have some more decorations on it too, so that'll be fun to check out. Um, if you have arrived, please say hello, and I will give you a shout out. And one second. Okay, this week we are imagining our story on the go. So I am going to share um, in our um, comments, one, one second, really quick. I'm going to share in our comments the link to this week's themed activity guide. This is our last themed activity guide of the summer. And it's imagining your story on the go. So check out all of those cool links and activities that you can make uh, do and have some fun with it. Um, without further ado, I think I have a good, good crowd so far. So I also wanted to make a quick announcement that for the remainder of August, live story time is going to be on Fridays at 3.30. However, starting in September, the live story times are going to be on Wednesdays at 3.30. So same time, different day. I think that's going to work better when um, schools open because Wednesday is the day that everybody is home. So that is what we decided on and think will work. Hopefully you can all tune in then. And without further ado, let's get some stories read. Okay. I'm in a new new position today, so I might be shuffling around to try and get comfy. So this one is called, How Will We Get to the Beach? A Guessing Game Story by Brigitte Luciano. This one's really fun. One beautiful summer day, Roxanne decided to go to the beach. Everything she wanted to take with her could be counted on the fingers of one hand. So that's five fingers, right? The turtle, the umbrella, the thick book of stories, the ball, and of course, her baby. Oh no, but the car wouldn't start. What are they going to do? Then we'll take the bus to the beach, said Roxanne, but something couldn't go with them. What was it? Okay, so what? what's not going to fit? Hmm. The little green turtle. Oh no, he had to stay behind. Animals weren't allowed on the bus. We can't go to the beach without the turtle, cried Roxanne. Then we'll ride our bike to the beach, she said, but something couldn't go with them. What was it? Hmm, what do you think won't fit? The orange spotted ball. The ball wouldn't fit on the bicycle. We can't go to the beach without the ball, cried Roxanne. This is really a predicament. This is a problem. How are they going to get to the beach? Then we'll ride our skateboard to the beach, she said. But something couldn't go with them. What was it? Oh, I think I know this time what's missing. The big yellow umbrella. Roxanne didn't have a free hand to hold it. Well, we can't go to the beach without the umbrella cried Roxanne. Then we'll ride our kayak to the beach, she said. But something couldn't go with them. What was it? 
What's missing? They have their umbrella, they have the turtle, they have the ball. The thick blue book of stories. The kayak was very wobbly, and the book might get wet. Well, we can't go to the beach without the book, cried Roxanne. It's true. It's always good to have a book when you're at the beach, right? Then we'll fly in a balloon to the beach, she said. But something couldn't go with them. What was it? Oh, what's missing? This isn't good. Roxanne's baby. He wouldn't climb aboard because he was afraid of flying. We can't go to the beach without my baby, cried Roxanne. He is more important than all the other things. I wouldn't go anywhere without my baby. Roxanne sighed. How will we ever get to the beach? Just then, a farmer passed by with his horse and cart. He was on his way to the beach to sell cherries. So they piled aboard. Roxanne, the green turtle, the big yellow umbrella, the thick blue book of stories, the orange spotted ball, and of course, her baby. And they had a wonderful time. Okay, that is the story of how do we get to the beach. Okay, I don't see any comments yet, but please um, say hello in the comments if you're here. So that way I can give you a shout out in the story time. Sometimes also, just a heads up, I don't see the comments until after I post the replay, which is very strange because I love to do, um, I love to do shout outs during story time, but sometimes I don't see the comment. So apologies if you have commented and I'm just not seeing it. Um, but if you haven't commented and want to, please say hello so that I can give you a shout out. Okay. This next story is called, I wish I were a pilot by Stella Blackstone. Again, remember our theme is on the go. So now we're going to be a pilot. I wish I were a pilot flying through the sky. I wish I were a balloonist floating high, high, high. I wish I were a race car driver. Race me if you dare. I wish I were a sailor and could travel everywhere. I wish I were the driver of a big steam train. I wish I were a cyclist whizzing down the lane. I wish I were a rower in a boat with gleaming oars. I wish I were a coachman with a splendid coach and four, four horses. I wish I were an astronaut hurtling into space. I wish I were a cowboy with the fresh wind in my face. I wish I were the captain of a yellow submarine. I wish I could go farther than anyone has been. And that is the story of I Wish I Were a Pilot. Okay. Still not seeing any comments, so, um, but I know people are here. They're tuned in. So if I'm not seeing your comment, I apologize so much. Um, I promise to reply to you after the story time if I do see any comments in the replay post. And also just a reminder that if you are arriving late, welcome to Miss Mary's story time. Um, this week we are imagining our story on the go. It is our last week of themes in that way. Um, and I linked to our 
themed activity guide for this week. It's the last one of the summer. And next week I am still doing story time. I just am um, not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, I don't have a theme, so I think we're, we might just be doing a fun mix of good books. Um, but today we're imagining our story on the go. So let's read Little Blue Truck by Alice Shirtle. I love this book. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. We have our little blue truck. Little blue truck came down the road. Beep, said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said, bah. Cow said, moo. Oink, said a piggy. Beep, said blue. Cook, said a chicken, and her chick said, peep. Ma, said a goat. Blue said, beep. Nay, said a horse. Quack, said a duck. Beep, said the friendly little blue truck. Honk, yelled the dump truck, coming through. I have big, important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Hmm. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck, and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk! cried the dump, and he sounded scared, but nobody heard, or nobody cared. Hmm. Then into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Oh no, they're both stuck. Blue was just trying to help. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? All together, one, two, three. One last push and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. That's true. Beep, said Blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak, ma. Beep, beep, beep. And that is the story of Little Blue Truck. Okay. I think I have one more story that I'm going to read. But again, I just wanted to let everybody know in case you have arrived late. Um, my live story time for the remaining weeks in August, so next week and the week after, are going to be this day, Friday at 330 but starting in September, my story time is moving to Wednesdays at 3.30. So same time, different day. 
and um, I think it will be better for those who are um, going back to school. Um, we know that back to school is a little bit different this year, of course, and um, but we know that in the Patchogue Medford district that Wednesday is a day that all of the students are home. So I thought that would be a good day to switch to for story time. So let's get our next book started. This is one of my favorite books called Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. It's super silly, super fun, just a great book to read. So I hope you like it. And again, if you are commenting and I'm not seeing it, I am so sorry. Sometimes I don't see comments until after I post the replay post. So I promise that I will comment <laughs> if I see any after the fact. Um, this is called Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Have you ever seen a duck on a bike? I haven't. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo, said Cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep. But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, he said Duck. Woof, said Dog. But what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, ugh, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode towards Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Quack, quack, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. He almost ran her over. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Ma, said Goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Goats are known for eating everything. So, not surprising that he wants to eat the bike. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, Pigs, said Duck. Oink said Pig and Pig, but what they thought was, Duck is such a show-off. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse, but what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Oh, what do you think all of those animals are thinking? What do you think? <laughs> now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, Duck. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, 
a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. <laughs> okay. All right. So that is my last story for today. I think I'm having some computer issues. I apologize in advance. Um, I see things delaying on my end, so I apologize for that, and hopefully the video isn't too affected. Hopefully the stories aren't too affected. Um, so I wanted to thank you all for tuning in this week. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Um, I think it's going to be a little cooler out if you're local, so that might be nice. Um, go outside and have some fun. And stay safe, of course. And I will be back next week with new stories. And hopefully you enjoy the um, themed activity guide for this week on the go. And we'll see you soon. Um, all right. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.